Hi, I'm Brad Rooks from Deer Tech TV. Today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite guns and, and the Browning X Bolt's a great, great firearm, but I love the Stainless Steel Stalker Hunter. Why, why do I like this gun? First off, it's stainless steel. Um, I, I'm one of those guys that uses a rifle and I use it pretty hard and sometimes the conditions that you're in, in the rain or wherever it is, let's face it, you don't clean that gun on every single day like you should. I mean, I, I'm not saying you shouldn't do that, you probably should, but we also leave some of these uh, guns in our deer stands for the entire length of the Wisconsin season, for nine days. And, and sometimes just that warming and the cooling down of the stands builds up moisture in the stands. And of course, if you got a blued barrel, I mean, you can get that, that rust started on a firearm that's blued. Where a stainless steel stalker, you don't even have to worry about it. I'm not saying you don't have to take control, you know, good care of your rifle and oil it and everything else. But if I leave it in a stand for a week, I never have to worry about that thing rusting. You know, it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna clean it when it gets out. The other thing that I really like about this gun is the synthetic stock. Like I said earlier, I use my rifles. I mean, I love the looks of the pretty wood grain rifles, but they're not for me. I'm gonna get it scratched, I'm gonna get it dinged. Uh, it's gonna look abused. Where this gun, I can pull this out five years from now and it's gonna look as good as it does right now. I mean, it just holds up to the abuse, plus it's super lightweight. I mean, this gun's loaded with features like, like the other X-Bolt. Uh, it, it definitely has the, the locking four pins per, per your base and ring, so you don't have to worry about that ever moving. But what I really like about it, a lot of these firearms, when you have it on safe, you can't use the bolt, right? I mean, that, that's pretty typical. Well, here, they got the overload button. All you have to do is push that down, and you can actually undo your rifle, so you can unchamber it, which literally, without it being on safe, I'm, I'm like dad, I got kids, I just love that feature because that way I know the gun's unloaded, it's still unsafe, it can't go off. A few other things is it has a special butt plate, so when you pull the trigger and you shoot, it literally moves that firearm away from your cheek, and therefore you don't have to worry about the recoil, which is a huge, huge deal. Um, this one is chambered into 6.5. If you guys have never shot a 6.5, it is a dream to shoot. What, what I love about it, it is two things. One is it doesn't have the recoil, so it doesn't really kick hardly at all. I would say it kicks less than my kid's 243. Um, but that said, it has ballistics that are equal to a 270, in between a 270, 30-06 and a 7 meg. I mean, you can go elk hunting with this. You can shoot whitetails, highly accurate, low kick. It is a great firearm for any whitetail guy or any buddy that's going out west once in a while. I mean, it's great gun. Check it out. Browning X-Bolt, stainless stalker. It is a great, great firearm.